Jalal Eddin, final episode. Ready? Aim! Fire! One, two, three, four! One, two, Sultan Jalal Eddin's camping grounds. Aim! Ready? Do not just use your hands to handle the bow. Put half of its weight on your back and shoulders when aiming. And don't slouch, soldiers. Do not hesitate because it will make your shoulders shake. You should not stare at the arrow. Always keep your eyes on the target. Your eyes know exactly which direction the arrow should go to. To see the target, you only need one second. You have to believe in your eyes, men. Go on! Hey! Who is this man? Calling him a man is over-exaggerating it, sir. Scoundrel is enough for him. He's a bandit who steals from this area. We were looking for a place so we can camp and we found him with his men hiding there. They've dug holes in the mountains and wait there until a caravan passes by. We should set an example and execute him, sir. We should not tolerate this kind of thievery at all. They are now all under arrest and you have to decide their fate, sir. You are such an unlucky bandit to be caught by the Emir of Bukhara. This Emir was himself wounded by bandits. I'm rather surprised that your head is still attached to your body. At a time when people are dragging along with them their loved ones and possessions from one road to another out of fear of the Mongols, the crime people like you are committing is 100 times worse. It's people like you who make real men look bad and you make the devil look good. The Tatars are set fire to your entire country and you're thinking about women's jewelry. When a hand holds a sword and doesn't know the difference between friend and foe, the stronger he is, the worse it becomes. The truth about it is, if you had even a slight bit of decency, you would have been pulling your sword on the enemies at a time like this. You wouldn't have been stealing from the people. Look at me right now. Didn't you hear? I said look at me right now. You don't deserve it. You do not deserve to be killed by an honorable soldier. You are even less than a scarecrow to me, do you understand? Just go kill yourself. Take this man to the desert. Let him either kill himself there, or repent for what he had done. The condition to repent is to ask forgiveness from the ones he had wronged. My lord, sir. Among all of the stolen possessions found, we were lucky enough to find this treasure that bears your sign on it. Tell me which caravan this came from right now! Unfortunately, we don't know the names of the caravans. This particular one was on its way to Ray. It must have been about 50 kilometers from here. Behind those mountains there, it was along the path of the mountain passageway. Mankind is a great thing. Everything exists within him. But pride and darkness do not allow him to see the knowledge that is there within him. Pride and darkness, these are the different concerns. 
these are the worldly discretions and all the different wishes. Even though they are all in darkness and a curtain covers them, it is a simple fact that the knowledge also exists. Watch. Watch as the darkness and the covers disappear. And bear witness to the knowledge that will arise in its place. will help you walk. Here, please take it, sir. Please. Father, what if these people are more bandits? Do not be scared, son. Bandits don't attack caravans in such few numbers. Aside from that, we really don't have anything else to lose now. But father, we are still alive. Indeed, but our lives are no use to thieves, you know. Don't take someone's life to the bazaar and sell it, my son. Jalaluddin! <laughs> Father, this is the Emir of Bukhara. Greetings to the Sultan of Scholars. Greetings to you, sir. When we were in bulk. Yes, a while ago, I was in bulk. If it weren't for the help of Sayyid Boran and this great son of yours right here, I would not be alive today. I know very well indeed what went on in bulk, brother. What kind of father would not know what his only son is actually up to or doing at the moment? I was aware from afar. Father, then why didn't you say anything? It was Sayyid Boran's decision. He wanted to test whether you can actually keep a secret. I couldn't even have dreamt of having the honor to see you both here. Meeting you and your son Jalaluddin in this desolate desert has been an honor. 
but we were very lucky indeed, and the bandits, on the other hand, were quite unfortunate. The army of Sultan Jalal Eddin Khorazem Shah is camped just a few kilometers from here, actually. I will take you to their camping grounds. This way, you can meet the man himself, and also so you can take back your stolen possessions and see the Sultan. Those who have faith in God, God shows them a way to free themselves. And when you don't expect him to, he grants your wishes in the fullest. If you have absolute faith in God, my friend, nothing can truly go wrong. that lead to the Kaaba. Some use the path from Rome, some others from the Levant, and some of them from Iran, and some from China. And some come from the sea, from India and Yemen. So if you take a look at the roads, there are great differences and endless contradictions. But when you look at the destination, they are actually all the same one. And all lead hearts to the Kaaba. These hearts will have to be pure and filled with love. There is no other way to find the true path. There is great love and affection for the Kaaba. And no room for any differences. <laughs>
One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Ready. Ready. One. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. A great blessing. Was an honor in meeting the great Jalala Viran. The blessing is meeting the Sultan of Scholars. It has been a dream of mine to meet you all my life, but not here, not like this, of course. We are nothing but feathers in a storm. We have no say in what God has planned for us. No say whatsoever. What else do I have but shame, O oh great Sultan of Scholars? When I am unable to bring safety and peace for the people of this land from the title Sultan, the only thing I have that was left for me was the shame of being incapable. You are the last hope of this land, Jalal din Today, all the proud men of this land have the hope of being with you here right now, so they can destroy the bloodthirsty army of the Mongols under your command. Don't speak of your incapability. If there is any incapability, it is merely the result of the doings of those who were in power before you. The throne has always been worthy of only you. I heard your name a lot in Kharazim. I'm so sorry for what my father did to you. The world is a place for tests, and each person reaps the seeds he sows himself. On the day of judgment, the base of the scale is justice, and no one has to answer for things others have done. May I enter, sir? Whatever there was, we returned to their owner except this book. the real owner of this book. You mean Atar's Book of Secrets? Sheikh Farid Adin Atar Neshaburi gave this book to my son, Jalal Adin himself. What belongs to you will eventually return to you. I'm sure Sheikh Atar has seen something in you for him to have given you this book. Come closer, Jalal Adin. to see the Sultan. <laughs> Allow me to see the Great Sultan, please. <laughs> I want to see the Great Sultan. <laughs> please. <laughs> please, I want to see. Let me see the Sultan. <laughs> I 
am so sorry. I truly regret what I have done, O Sultan. I have come to die fighting alongside you. I want to fight for you. <laughs> Your Highness, the people in the caravan have all forgiven him. shield and a sword. Take him at once and follow the orders! All the cheating and stealing that you committed turned into strength, in good and justice at this moment, and it is more decent than what those gods do, those who weren't thieves from the beginning, because the god that has stolen knows the way, the way of the thieves, and thieves cannot hide from him. This then makes the god wiser and allows him to act upon the self-taught knowledge. And if a person who repents just as you have becomes a shape, then he will be complete. You stay right here, sir. Stay right here, okay? You stay here. I will be back with water. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> 
Heaven, sir. Water, drink it, sir. Drink it. Drink it, sir. It's really good. I found a spring down there. I brought this water from there, sir. I still haven't lost my mind yet. Please, please stop it with all this nonsense, Nasir. This is dirty water. Oh, Nasir, Nasir, Nasir. Why don't you leave this? Leave this Polish Kamal Edin. Leave. I wouldn't have left you even if you were more bullish than this, sir. Uh, you fed me when I was hungry, sir. I am no less than a dog. time I didn't say goodbye to you, but we met again. This time I won't say goodbye to you again. But I will never forget meeting you, Jalaluddin. Until another time and another place, if I am alive and I still have time, Headed to Neshabur and Subzivar. Along the way, armies will join us, and of course, there are people in Neshabur ready to defend the city, and I've heard you're on your way to the Kaaba. Oh, Sultan of Scholars, pray for us. We are in dire need of your prayers, O oh Sultan. On this journey we've embarked on, please pray for us to prevail. No power, but power in Allah. blessed with the Ayat ul Kursi and it is a keepsake from someone very dear just as it has always protected everyone from harm it will be your companion and supporter too during such times I think you need it way more than I do
Get the horses ready. Passengers, get ready. Passengers, be prepared. Get we the horses and the ready. ready. Passengers, be prepared. The caravan is ready to leave. Pull the horses get and the Get ready donkey. to leave. Get ready, everybody, to leave. The caravan, the caravan is ready. Nine thousand coins, all gone. Where, where could they be now? Where are those poor chests of mine? Oh. Huh. Um. Uh. I remember you said sixty thousand in the forest. Uh, you never learned from me all these years, Nasir, that you have to try to look to the future, to be provident. Yeah. The thousand coins were for a day like this. <laughs> you really are smart, sir. <laughs> hmm? <laughs> تبله رهی از آسمان تبله رهی از آسمان این بانگ ها از پیش و سر می کشد در لا مکان سر می کشد در لا مکان زین شام های سر نگو کشیدت این چونین آن سو کشانت که 
We should stop here. I think we should rest in the forest for a few hours. We have to fight for as long as the enemy is in our land. Who enjoys spilling blood? If it weren't for the tolerance we had for the incapability of our rulers, it wouldn't have been like this. This victorious plain is a sign of your honor. The numbers of the Mongols were ten times more than you, but they were defeated by you. We will not be afraid because of the great warriors and the fighters that we are. So many others will be joining us, and we are able. I want you to know that there are others backing and supporting us so that our sword can be victorious. From Fars and Koman, there is news of another war. We must get ready. These chests of gold were brought here from Balkh and Khorasan by a brave man named Tayer. He has brought them here to be presented to the Sultan. I have kept this with me. It has come a very long way to reach you, and it is now with its rightful owner. sacrifices himself for what's just and right. Why would he worry about calamity and danger and arms and legs? Because he's going toward God. Why would he need arms and legs? He gave you arms and legs so that you can go toward him. Because you are going to the one who gave you the arms and legs. If you are lost or if you are weak, and you lose your arms and your legs, you will still get to him. Why the sorrow? 